Hi, this is Jack Downs. Welcome to my on-camera performance tutorial presentation, stuff like that. Um, appropriate, I'm doing this in front of a webcam uh, because you're doing this to prepare for your first video assignment, which is a webcam production. So I assume you found this on Moodle, and therefore you see a bunch of other links listed under it. Um, you'll likely, I suggest you pause this video as we go through to watch those other links as I direct you to. Now, on to the screen capture and the presentation. And away we go. So this is on-camera performance. In other words, what do you do to prepare for being on camera? And in lots of different ways. First thing, you have to really prepare your script. You're going to have a webcam script. Other times you have other scripts. You shouldn't be reading it. You should memorize it. You should practice in front of a mirror. Force yourself to speak slower than you normally would. We talked about this with audio. It's even more true with video. Um, and some of you had a problem with it. So slow down. Enunciate. Use emphasis. Pauses. Be dramatic. Be interesting. And at the same time, be personable, like you're talking to a friend. You have to dress for success. I'm afraid if you looked at my little 30-second intro, I was not dressed that well, really. Um, but I'm on vacation, sort of. No t-shirts, no gum, no hats, no stayed or frayed or obviously old or dirty clothing. Consider removing eyeglasses. Well, if you have trouble operating without your eyeglasses, don't worry about it. Eyeglasses are okay, but um, if you don't really need them, then don't wear them, and certainly don't wear sunglasses. We, need, we, we prefer to see your eyes and not have, have anything else in the way of it. Select a shirt or blouse you think about, uh, where, to think about where the mic is going. You're going to be using a lavalier mic, a little mic that's hooked to your collar or near your collar. If you happen to wear a shirt that doesn't have anywhere a collar near where it can be easily attached, that'll be a problem. So plan on that. For men, it's easier. A dress shirt is suggested. A tie is a good idea, too, for your webcam. Keep the jewelry simple. Um, men or women, for that matter. Um, not distracting. Look in a mirror. Consider what you look like. Know what colors look good on you. I'm not going to do a whole. Are you a winter? Are you a fall? Are you a spring? And pick your colors for you. No, I'm not. However, I think you should um, consider what colors look good on you and consider using those. Match the clothes to your image, the demands of the assignment. For instance, here's a little video on a sports broadcaster, which I'm asking you to go look at now. The video, it looks like this, how to be a local sportscaster. And he talks about what's required in his job. So I'll pause briefly. Or actually, you should pause the video now and go look at that link. That link is on Moodle just below this one. Okay, let's assume that you watch that. Sportscaster example. Um, watch out for the moray pattern. The moray pattern is an unintended, undesired shifting pattern of lines or arcs or colors seen in digital reproduction of fine, high ca contrast patterns. To avoid the moray pattern in your video or stills, choose the right fabrics. You don't want high contrast, very small patterns, like lots of little checks or spirals or so on. Um, you, you also don't want shiny uh, pattern, shiny fabric either. So it'd be nice if you found a fabric for your shirt, which is the key thing because you're going to, the shirt is up, you're going to be obviously seeing that in the video, with solids, a solid color, or a large pattern of some kind, or a low contrast pattern. So you don't want like a black and white pattern. What will happen if you do this? Well, if you, if you do make the mistake and pick the wrong pattern, you could get the moray pattern, you might, likely will, which is a strange digital artifact. Um, and the, only, the best way to understand it is to actually go look at one. And I have a video for you of a shirt. And this is the second video. And it looks like this when you go look at it on YouTube. Spend a little time looking at this video of the shirt when you run it and see how the there's shifting patterns that develop. They are not there on the shirt. It's just because of the way that a digital camera interacts with a high contrast like this pattern. In this case, it's lines. If it was checks to, it checks or other, some other pattern that was small and high contrast, it would be an equal problem. So I'll pause for a moment so you can go view that wonderful video of a shirt. Hey, the internet is great. Someone made almost a three-minute video of this shirt and just left it there for us. And now we'll continue. So what else? More about fabrics. Plain white and plain black shirts or blouses or jackets are not that great either. They get a huge amount of contrast 
can give with you with your, your face and so on. Um, I think other more neutral colors are better. Um, avoid bright bleeding colors, red, orange, neon, anything shiny or distracting. Um, shiny is especially bad, like uh, nylon kind of stuff, because it can make noises against the mic too. Prepare your voice. I think you should do a warm up. Me, 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 me. Stretch your face. Try tongue twister. And I have a video for you. I'm just going to show you this one link here um, about how to prepare yourself. This is a great video with some real suggestions. It has to do with acting. If you've, if you've ever done any acting or had acting lessons um, or gone to a drama, you did, probably did do vocal warm-ups, body warm-ups. Those things are great before you do your video. Please consider doing them. So I'll leave you to watch that one. And now we will continue. Hair and makeup. Well, yes, I have a bunch of links I could give you. Frankly, I'm just going to give you one link to look at, this top one right here. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of, of uh, on-camera work, to get used to doing makeup. Men, too. Not, mostly just to take care of problems, um, like greasy nose and forehead and so on. Um, Anti-glare translucent powder. That would be a good thing to carry with you. It'd be nice, actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make a little kit of stuff to carry with you. So, especially if you're doing a lot of on-camera work, you don't have to do makeup for this project. Um, I'm only going to give you the link for the male makeup, and I think you, everybody, men and women, can give some ideas from that, because it is geared towards on-camera work. Um, and, of course, there's so many other makeup tutorials out there. I'll leave you to look through those at your own, on your own pace. The one I want you to look at is called, not that, it's called this. Makeup for guys, actors, TV hosts, on-camera expert. The audio is a little weird in some places in here, but the suggestions they make are very good ones. Um, and men and women wear makeup on camera, and it can make a huge difference, even in little projects like what we do. Okay, let's continue along. Please watch that video. Um, it's eight minutes. So at least get most of it in, please. And finally, let's continue and say... Hair and makeup, some more about it. Avoid distracting makeup, extreme shades, glitter. Keep the hair out of your face. Um, for women in particular, but anybody, really, keep your hair pulled back. Facial hair, if you have a beard or mustache, neatly trimmed. I think people are more used to beards and mustaches now. It used to be, years ago, they said you shouldn't have facial hair at all if you're going to be on camera. I don't think that's necessarily the case, but at least it should be neatly trimmed. Build a basic kit, a brush or a comb, powder, like the translucent anti-reflecting powder, sunscreen, oil absorbing wipes, hairspray, bug spray perhaps, that you carry with you um, because you're probably working on your own. You gotta get yourself ready before you do the video. Posture and position before you start your video is very important. Sit up straight if, it's, if you're seated. Avoid excessive hand and body gestures. Don't swivel and fidget. Swivel your chair. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Look straight ahead. Open up your body and speak to the mic. And one more, a little bit more about preparing for your videos. If you were doing a, a journalism piece, you would be a little concerned about altering reality. For instance, you probably wouldn't tell people to, if you were, if you were interviewing somebody, uh, you would probably let them wear the clothes that they wore. Um, yeah, if they had a piece of spinach in their teeth, you would tell them about that. You wouldn't want to embarrass them. You don't want to make them look bad. But... Um, and you do, if you're doing it in a, in a studio, you, you, the subjects that you interviewed would probably get makeup also. But we do less to change the look of our subjects, people we interview, in journalism. We wouldn't perhaps like bring extra clothes for them to try on to, to wear or um, make major changes in their appearance. How, go get them a haircut. We probably wouldn't do that. But in PR, with loyalty to the client being one of the key elements of our guidelines, and the desire to project the proper image and brand, it's more likely you'll work with your interview subjects to improve their appearance. You might make suggestions about clothing. You might make apply makeup before the shoot. You might actually bring alternative clothing in case they screw up and are wearing the wrong thing. So when you keep that in mind. And finally, um, I'm going to give you two more videos, since you've made it this far, two more videos to watch to, um, as kind of a thank you. Uh, because they're hilarious. I think I think you'll enjoy them too, about how things could always go worse. You may not feel comfortable in front of a camera. Um, if, well, as you do this webcam thing in particular, and you're looking at yourself on camera. Um, however, remember, things always could be worse. And the two videos I suggest are this live TV fails 
and my favorite, reporter walks into a poll while trying to interview a lawyer. Okay, let's just go back for a second and say, hey, is this stuff on the quiz? Yes, some of this stuff is on the quiz. What do I want you to know? Well, I'm going to go back to the beginning and say, um, I definitely want you to know about um, the idea of dr the basic dress concepts. Should you wear sunglasses? No. Should you wear a hat? No. How about a shirt and tie? Good idea. Um, what kind of jewelry might be a problem? I think you should know that for the quiz. A key thing to know for the quiz, though, is this moray pattern. What it means, what it looks like. Looks like. So write that down on your, on your little flashcard for the quiz, future quiz. Um, also, the idea about bright colors, bleeding colors, neon, and that that is bad. Uh, know that warm-up is good. Um, and I think the rest of this is good information for you to have, but probably not going to be on the quiz. Um, well, actually, this idea, the difference between how we handle makeup and clothing for subjects that we are in interviewing for PR or for journalism and how that might be different. You should know that for the quiz, too.